Hello everyone, welcome to the Gerudo Hacks Technical Meeting. This is me, Scott, the Managing Director of Gerudo Hacks. Um, this information is going to be talking about like the essential information that you need to be able to participate in Gerudo Hacks. Do know that this information is not extensive, um, so uh, we will have like a more complete information about the hackathon in our hacker handbook that we will be sending out to you to your email, registered email, um, in a few days. So if you want more information that you have not found in this um, presentation, feel free to find it on the hacker handbook. Uh, we'll also have a Q&A session at the end of this presentation. So stay tuned if you want to like see the other questions that the participants have asked and if you're interested in all of that as well. So let's jump right in. So for the first one, we have the general rules. So the maximum number of participants and team is four person. Um, so you, you're allowed to have like um, as many participants in your team as long as it's between one to four person. If you have like more uh, more than four person like in your team, unfortunately we will need to disqualify you from like winning the prizes at Gerudo Hacks. Um, secondly, you're not allowed to build a project before the hackathon starts. Um, and then third, you're not allowed to use code from existing projects. So this means that you're not allowed to like resubmit your previous hackathon projects. You need to like start from scratch as everybody else. Um, for you're not allowed to ask people from outside your team to build your project, let it be coding, design, and etc. If you want people to build, to help you build your project, they need to be on your team. Um, um, so this is regardless of like what they're doing. Um, if they're providing help, um, uh, like from in the terms of like coding and design, they need to be in, on your team. Unless, um, if like if you want to ask questions to our mentors, that is perfectly fine. More information about mentors in our next slide. But yeah, people need to be on your team to like you know contribute to your project. Um, also important, please follow the Major League Hacking Code of Conduct. You can find a, a link here, or you can find it also in our website. Um, we wanna make Gerudo Hacks as a safe space and like a like a creative space for people to um, innovate. And we wanna make sure that everyone um, is respecting each other and this code of conduct uh, is something that will allow us to do, the, to do the, those kind of things if like followed properly. Last but not least, we try to reserve the rights to disqualify participants at our discretion. If you find any sort of misconduct, any sort of like um, improper behaviors during the hackathons, we're gonna uh, we have to disqualify your participations um, from Gerudo Hacks. Um, moving on onto the judging criteria, we are judging you in four main categories. The first one is application or social impact. Um, does the project have an feasible application in real life? Does it seem like something that someone could use or would actually have a benefit in the real world? Um, the second one is functionality or, uh, and, uh, or quality. So the question is like the project free of major bugs, bugs. Does it look appealing? The UI UX doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. We understand that you only have like a limited amount of time. Uh, but if you're having a hard time understanding project by looking at it, there might be a problem in the project design and, and the, like the, the overall layouting of the project. Um, the third category that we're looking for is creativity. We're trying to see if this project is unique and innovative. Is it a solution to a problem we have never seen before? Or is it a better way of doing something? Um, so definitely we want to see more of like an innovations happening in Gerudo Hacks. We want to like make sure people are pushing their ideas forward. Um, and last but not least, um, we are also looking for a technical complexity. Um, so we want to make sure that people are pushing themselves and trying to use like new technologies, experimenting with new stuff. Um, but what we also want to see is that the team um, have a good level of knowledge in terms of the technology they've used in implementing their projects. So if you're using, like, say, artificial intelligence or machine learning, or if you're using blockchain, you want to see that you're using these kind of technologies for the right kind of things and not simply just because just you want to put AI or ML in, in your DevPoint submission. Uh, and that brings us to the next slide on like submitting a project and judging the, and the judging process. All submission will be handled through our DevPost page. So if you guys haven't registered for a DevPost account or joined our uh, DevPost page, you can do that now on devpost.gurudax.com. We recommend doing it now because like there might be some last minute hiccups in trying to set, make, make an account. And you, don't, you, you wanna make sure that you're not late when submitting a DevPost project. Um, so yeah, so if you haven't done that already, please do so now. 
So every project will need to submit a two minute product demo video. Uh, we recommend using loom.com to record it. So if you're using, uh, if you're seeing this recording, um, I'm recording this using um, loom.com. So you can like basically have a presentation and also have like a face camera. And this is going to be uploaded easily to the, the loom, uh, the loom cloud. And then you can share those link, uh, you can download the video and then like upload it in YouTube and so on and so forth. Um, also note that due to sheer number of participants, all judgings will be done asynchronously. Um, so, like as we have mentioned before, um, like uh, in, in like some of like our discussions in FAQ, um, so we're not gonna have like Q and A sessions with with our judges. We're gonna have to um, focus on your product demo video and your um, your submission on Dev Post. So, like one important note to consider is that. During the two minute product demo video, we ask you to focus on demonstrating your product instead of like doing a presentation or like a business pitch. Um, all of those informations, if you see them as necessary or unique to your project, or like um, I, we recommend putting them uh, in the dev post description and like a, in the text form. And we really want to maximize the two minute video for like seeing your product instead of like it being a pitch. So pitch should go like. Like pitching or like you know uh, business description, problem description, problem statement, and then like you know any other like technology stack related information should go to the project description on Dev Post. Uh, moving on to one of the important part of Greta Hacks is um, utilizing our mentors. So mentors will be available throughout the event. We have both technical and non-technical mentor. Um, so technical mentor will be able to help you with like technical problems. Um, so if you're having a problem with your code, you can ask your the technical mentors. Um, if you have if you want recommendation on like what technology stack to use, on like uh, if you are looking for like you know resources or tutorials, feel free to ask our technical mentors. Um, for non-technical mentors, they will be able to help you like more on the product side of product side of things. So this includes like you know finding like the right problem, making sure that your solution solves your problem. Um, scoping your project, making sure that it's doable in three to six hours, dividing priorities, and etc. Um, so yeah, you can make the best use of our mentors by reaching out to them at the Mentors Help Slack channel. Um, we will be inviting our mentors really, really soon. So um, feel free to like, um, like ask them questions when when they're when they're there throughout the event. Um, moving on to the most exciting part of this technical meeting, which is like our free perks and tools. You can find our full list of perks um, at guruhacks.com. This list will be updated as we have more information from our um, from our like uh, like perks and tools partners. And out of fairness, we'll be sending out the instruction to get the perks uh, to your registered email that you use to, to sign up for Guruda Hacks a few days before the hackathon. Um, some examples that you can uh, some examples of free perks that we have is like free domain, free cloud credit from like both Microsoft Azure and DigitalOcean. You can also use uh, you you will also be able to get business access to AcoAR, which is an augmented reality platform. Um, also important, complete list of prizes will be updated at greeterhacks.com today uh, when this video is published. Um, do note that U.S. embargoed country might not be eligible for prizes. Um, if, you, if you're not sure what embargoed country means, don't be worried. That means that most likely you're not in the U.S. embargoed country. Um, and also important that some fees prizes will require additional application. So, uh, for instance, our open water accelerator program will ask you to have to submit additional questions for your project to be um, to to to, re to secure an invitation for their accelerator program, um, and yeah. So, so for the schedule of the hackathon, you can find them at grudahacks.com slash schedule. The timing of the of the like the calendar is adjusted to your time zone, so you don't really need to do any time zone math. Um, we will also be updating our website to show the schedule in the main page. Okay, so that concludes this technical meeting. We will be moving on to more of the, like a hackathon tips and Q and A. Um, so, if you guys have any any additional questions, um, feel free to send me a message on Slack. Um, my name is Scott Moses Sonardo. If you have like a more of like a general questions, I recommend it asking it asking them in the public FAQ channel. I will be able to like answer your questions faster in those public channel because I have a lot of like uh, private message already. So yeah, um, so moving on to the Q and A. So as you guys like uh, put in your questions through the chat, we're gonna just like um, start start moving on with my hackathon tips on like how to get started with a hackathon. 
So first of all, um, first of all, I really want to recommend all of you guys to like find a teammates. Um, we all usually from like the hackathon community in the United States, we have like kind of like a, we kind of like uh, have like a saying where like, you know, half the battle of a hackathon is, is done when you find a teammate. So like, um, so make sure you find good teammates, make sure that you guys have like, you know, a comp compatible skill. So for instance, if you're like a, you're good at front end, you want, if you're only good at front end, you want to find people who is good at back end. If you're only good at back end, you want to find people in the front end and that's such uh, make sure that uh, your project ideas align, make sure that, you know, um, you're, you're interested in building that project together instead of just like, you know, one person like trying to, uh, dictate everyone to build a second project. Usually, um, in a four team, uh, in a four team half fun, um, the project structure that we recommend is that like, you want to have like, um, like, uh, like one, uh, two core developers. Um, and then you want to have one, one more developers that focuses on, um, that focuses on, on like more of like the more co technically complex part of the hackathon. So like, for instance, if you're building a web project with like artificial intelligence, you want to have like two full stack web developer. You want to have like one um, like AI developer, like AI engineer, and then you want to the last one. I really recommend uh, having a designer on your team or like a business person. Um, this is really helpful because like it usually uh, like reduces the like you know the the weight on the, like the people who is coding to actually just like let them focus on coding and let the, like let the business person or the design person handle their uh, like you know handle the, like do their thing like basically do the design for your project. And also like um, write the like the dev post submission, and then like you know also like do the product demo and etc. So yeah, um, so yeah, you can find the you can find the schedule on grudax.com slash schedule. Um, we will be posting the like we'll be updating our website with the schedule uh, today. But please, um, please, uh, please uh, you should uh, you should probably just like you you should be able to like see it right now if you go to grudax.com uh, schedule. So, um, other than that, like hackathon tips. Uh, oh, another tips that I will recommend is checking out the list of the prizes, the category prizes. Like most people, are, most people are gonna like aim for like some sort of like category prizes. Uh, this year, we are working with Bubble, which is like a no code platform, which allows you to build like um, you build projects really, really quickly. Um, and then, yeah, I think like you should guys. You, also, we're gonna have like another prizes with Microsoft of Azure. So if you guys built your project with like Microsoft Azure, you're gonna be able to like win uh, prizes from Microsoft, which is like um, really amazing. Um, other than that, um, yeah, definitely check out like category prizes. Um, the, the third one, like if this is like more specific to beginners, for beginners, I have like um, several recommendations. So the first one, I recommend you to find people who is like experienced in hackathon Finding people who is experienced in hackathon really, really helps you as a beginner because like they know the ropes uh, of like how like you know uh, navigate through a hackathon, how to make sure that you know submit a project on time, how to delegate tasks, and etc. And secondly, um, I really recommend attending our workshops. If you see our schedule, we're gonna have like um, we're gonna have like a lot of workshops from like beginner workshops on like how to get started with like Node.js, building your website, and then like how to integrate that with APIs. We're also gonna have like um, like more of like a design workshop from Vidana. We're also gonna have like a, like in, like a, like non technical non technical workshops as well. Like you know like agile mindset and like innovation and etc. So definitely check out our schedule and attend the workshops if you're interested. Um, so yeah. Other than that, let's see. Um, oh, so like one or also important thing is also to make sure that your um, if your hackathon, yeah, if your for your hackathon project, you are making sure that the size of the projects is like doable in 36 hours. You will, you your priority in the, like hackathon is to ship the project instead of like building the perfect product. We're not gonna expect you to build a, a perfect product within 36 hours. So you're gonna you want to focus on building the core part of your products, the part that is important to your project submission, making sure that you know. Um, those like kind of like, functionalities are done. Um, yeah, so basically make sure that you guys are focusing on the right things. You don't want to build a project that is too large. Um, the judges understand um, and like uh, like in like that you also only have three six hours. So hard coding is allowed to like uh, like hard coding is allowed to like um, to like a certain extent. 
So like, make sure like, you know, if you, if you want to hard code something, this is like a part where like, you know, hard coding makes sense. And then you're not hard coding to like, you know, try to fool the judge. Your opponent of hard coding is just to be like, hey, this is an important, uh, like a, like a, like a, like a part of the code that is like, you know, we can implement this later instead of, instead of like doing this now. So one, one thing to also note is that we're gonna ask you to like submit uh, the, your project code uh, during the submission process. You can submit your code through GitHub or Google Drive or whatever, but we will ask you to submit the code so that your, the judges will be able to review it. If the judges see that you're like basically hard coding everything or if you don't have any code at all, um, and then like, et cetera, we will, we will know about this and then this will be detrimental to your judging score as well. So yeah, make sure that you guys, um, and you still make sure you guys are like, you know, um, not hard coding too much, uh, uh, and et cetera. Uh, so yeah, I think other than that, oh, one final, one final tip for like the beginners is that like definitely check out no code tools to build your projects. A lot of people are, are like, a lot of hackathon, hackathon participants assume that like, um, the key things about a hackathon is like coding. This is definitely not true. Like, um, the main purpose of a hackathon is like to, for you to build a project, any project, like, so any projects that, you know, can be used by a lot of people that can be impactful. We want that, to, we want to see that during a hackathon and you can build this, build this kind of project using something called no code tools. So for instance, like our sponsor bubble is like one great example of like a, a, like a, a no code tool. You can find them at bubble.io. So you can also find a link to bubble.io on, on our website. And then the way that no code tools work is that basically you can make a whole app without writing a single line of code. So this is like what, one of like the killer secrets of like hackathon experts is that like sometimes they don't even like, you know, they don't even need to code at all. They can just use no code tools to like, you know, help build their, to kill, help build their projects and then like only code the parts that they really need to code. So yeah, definitely that is like a, like, a, a, like one last uh, strategy tip for me. Um, other than that, like I think it's really up to you guys. Um, another thing, like this, like probably depends on more on the participants. Um, is that like you definitely want to get a, a, like a healthy sleep schedule uh, set up. So like what what like one of the tricks I have is like usually uh, we're gonna like take sleep in turns. So like for instance, I'm gonna sleep for like you know from like 1 a.m. until like 4 a.m. and then until 4 a.m. Uh, until like maybe like 8 a.m. The one who's gonna be sleeping is like my other teammate. And then like after that, the one that's going to sleep being is the other teammate. So you want to make sure that you can like basically spread out your sleep schedule as possible and et cetera. Um, so yeah, so basically that is like the general concept uh, of like a hackathon. Um, we're going to go to Q&A right now. We have so many questions. Um, <laughs> oh my God, someone said the sleeping is for weeks. Um, definitely get, the go get good, like, you know, get enough sleep. Uh, this is like one of the key recommendations I can have, like having a good sleep is like one of the, if there's like a, you know, like a, like a steroid for like programmers or like designers, sleep is like one thing, like sleep is really, really important. Um, Red Bull is also great. Uh, I don't like, you know, if you're, if you're below 18, I don't recommend like taking Red Bull. Um, but like, yeah, Red Bull is really help. Like if you have monster energy, monster energy also helps and it's really nice. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's start with the question. We have so many questions. I need to go uh, through this like one by one. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, la, 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 um, okay, let me scroll real quick on the questions. Oh, whoop. Okay. Um, question, in the end, do we let the judges explore our final product on their own and figure out the features themselves or should we should make a presentation video showcasing uh, what, what we have built? Um, yeah, so we recommend, uh, so judges is probably not going to have enough time to explore your own project. Um, also you can definitely do that. If you, if you put it up on like a website or you like basically deploy them to production, you can give the link to the, like the, you can give the link to the judges via the product demo video and they, they might be able to like, you know, try it on, on themselves. This is usually, uh, usually one good idea if you're like, like your project is going to be like much more fun in person instead of like a demo video. Um, but yeah, we, you, we don't require to you to like submit like, you know, uh, like, a, like a final product. We only ask you to record the product demo video. Um, and then, yeah. So is this meeting going to be recorded and published later? Yes. Um, is the required user interface to be in a certain language, English or Indonesian? We recommend you uh, setting your user interface to English. 
um, our project submissions will be need uh, will need to be submitted in English as well. If you're not able to like you know uh, use like uh, use English, we 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 definitely like you know welcome you to like use Google Translate. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely recommend using um, English as like a project submission because like most of our judges will be international judges from Silicon Valley and then like a lot of like you know other places from around the globe as well. So uh, we definitely ask you to. Uh, we definitely ask you to like submit a project that is like you know written in English, um, and also the product demo video needs to be also in English. But like if so, if you like don't submit in English, um, I'm afraid like some of our judges might not be able to like judge you, and then we might need to like resort to like you know our our like organizers to like, judge your event, uh, like your judge judge your submission because we are Indonesians. But like yeah, so if you want to be judged by professional judges, we definitely recommend you like submitting it in English. Um, so will the judges run our code to make sure it works? Will they check to make sure it can be written under six, six hours? Yes, we have like our own proprietary matter to check for this kind of like, you know, validity under like 36 hours. And this is why we ask you to like submit your code um, to Google Drive or GitHub. This like, this is gonna be like one of the ways that we find out whether or not you're like building this in like 36 hours um, out of like many other things. Um, so yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think like, uh, I, I think, yeah. So like judges will be like putting a lot of scrutiny in your code um let's see like is there any other questions mm, can we create the design before the hackathon starts so what we allow for designs is like a uh, low fidelity wireframe so how does like what what does like low fidelity wireframe mean so like um basically we allow like pencil sketches so we don't like allow things like using figma we don't allow them to, like you know like basically build like a whole like specific like where things need to go before the hackathon what we allow you to do is basically, you know, have like sketch on like a, on a pen of paper or like if you want to use Microsoft Paint, then you can just like, you know, put a sketch. So all you're, you're allowed is like basically a layout of your app that is allowed, but you're not allowed to like, you know, uh, you know, build like, you know, like styling and all of that uh, like before the hackathon. Are there any stickers for participants? Yes, we're going to be sending out stickers for everyone. Uh, this is, of course, like taking account your like countries like uh, policy regarding shipping as well. So if you guys are like, you know, your country is like, you know, like a country that will accept shipping from the United States, we will be sending you all stickers. Any learning workshops? Yes, we will be, uh, we will be having uh, like learning workshops. Um, let's see. What are, I was like, uh, SIF 6 Atopia packed out by the way. Wow, we have like SIF later here. I really like SIF. Uh, send me an invite on Steam if you want to play SIF with me. Um, uh, okay, hello, okay, let's see, let's other, what other questions do we have here? What if we're not able to complete our project as we have, com uh, have to complete that in a given time? So this again is like one of the challenge of a hackathon. Um, the way that you can make sure that you like finish within the time allocated is to make sure that like, um, to make sure that you're basically finishing the project, um, the project like, well, like your, your project is in like its scope for like 36 hours, making sure that your projects are like, you know, the right size uh, to make sure that you're able to like finish them in like, uh, in like 36 hours. If you basically realize that like, you know, hey, I might not have enough time to finish this, start cutting down features and focus on shipping a, like, you know, a polished product. So that's definitely like my advice. Um, um, let's see, like what are the questions we have here? Uh, are we going to get the slides after the meeting for future reference? Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have like a recording uh, of like the of like of this like uh, meeting, so you can basically find the slides there as well. We're gonna have like uh, so we're gonna send out something called the hacker handbook. This will also have like basically practically every information that we have talked during this like the, during this like uh, meeting as well. So stay tuned for the, like the hacker handbook. Um, let's see what are the questions we have here. Um, Uh, hmm, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we have some other questions about like people who is like, you know, trying to get started with like, you know, if you're not that good at programming, how can I still participate? Uh, one of the advice that I can give, give like to you is like, you know, consider using no code tool as I mentioned before, like bubble.io. Um, build something more complex. We definitely recommend trying to find 
uh, people with like programming experience. This is like also the best way to learn programming is by you know pairing up with something with more experience. So yeah, that is like uh, so that, like for if you're if you're new in programming, that's like one of the things that we recommend. Um, let's see. Using small snippets from here and there will it be okay? Um, yeah, using small snippets from here and there will be fine. Like as long as like you know, it's like you know, like if you like you know, you, if you can't solve something you see on Stack Overflow and spawn like a code snippet, that is fine. But like you know, um, you're using like core functionality project, like core functionality code is like definitely not allowed. Like this is like because like this is basically using your like code from your previous project, which like again is our rule in the hackathon. Um, let's see. Okay, should the project have all the interfaces or a core part is fine. Um, yeah, definitely core part, like focus on the core part. Um, like, so I, 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 I like this like up to your own discretion because like there will be like, like a lot of different projects. Some people are gonna build a like, you know, VR project. Some people is gonna build a like, you know, AI project. Some people is gonna build a like, you know, a web app. So definitely like focus on the core part of your project instead of like trying to like build like, uh, like a full complete project. Um, what about teams? How to connect with our team members? We recommend using our Slack. If you haven't joined our Slack, we definitely recommend, uh, like, uh, we definitely, uh, we definitely like recommend uh, joining the, the Slack. Uh, do we have to make a website or Google Slides to present? Um, so as I mentioned before, our, our like presentation will focus on like your product demo. So if you wanna have slides, Make sure that your slides is like you're you're not you shouldn't spend more than like 15 seconds on your slides. If you have more than 15 seconds on your slides, you're doing something wrong. So the uh, yeah so yeah focus on like focus on like you know um, focus on like the product demo. Mm. Okay. Do we need to take care of refactoring? Um, no, uh, so yeah, so definitely like, you know, bad code, like, you know, spaghetti code is like totally normal in hackathons. So you don't need to spend too much time in trying to refactor your code. Um, so as long as it works and like, you know, uh, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so like, let's see what are like, any format on presentation, as we said before, it's gonna be a product demo. So presentation shouldn't be like more than 15 seconds. Um, can we use Azure any type of prototype software before the hackathon? You are allowed to practice with this uh, with, with this software, but you're not allowed to build your project using those, those platform before the hackathon starts. Um, how the judges will be distributed? Uh, we will be distributing the judges based on like the judges like um, specialty, um, and then also we're gonna be like judging uh, dividing them also based on time zone. We're also gonna like, yeah, you're, you're basically gonna, other than that, we'll basically assign them to them by random. So yeah, I think like after those considerations, like uh, we don't really have like that much like a control on like who will be judging what. So yeah, I think like, uh, I think, yeah. So uh, that's really it for like, the, uh, for like how we assign judges. Um, uh, are we allowed to work outside the hacking session? No, you're not allowed to code outside the hacking session. So the hacking session in our schedule is the 30, like around 36 hour plus. It's or actually more like 40, 40 hours because we decided to give you some extra time. So you're only allowed to code within this hacking session. So you're not allowed to code before or after your hacking session. Okay, um, how do we submit a no-code project? So if you're submitting a no-code project, you wanna send an invite. Uh, like, so depending on like what kind of no code platform you're using. So if it's a bubble, you want to send them the bubble link, um, uh, like to, on your, on your, uh, to send them the, like the bubble, like project link, um, on, on, on our dev post. Um, other than that, we basically ask you to submit like a the demo video as well. Same thing as like a, like a, like a, a same thing as like, you know, a, a, a typical code project. Um, we keep the dummy data set ready that we'll, we'll be needing in the back end before we start the hackathon. So if it's a publicly available data set, if you're only do downloading it from Kaggle and stuff like that, um, it is definitely allowed to like have them ready before the hackathon because we understand like, you know, downloading them might take some time. But like you're not allowed to build your own data set before the hackathon. You're not allowed to like, you know, um, clean your data before the hackathon and et cetera. Uh, let's see. Oh my God, there's so many questions. Uh, 
um, validate proposed idea and solution through surveys from potential users before the hackathon. Yeah, if you want to like ask your friends or like do surveys or whether your idea is a good thing, you can definitely do that. We don't consider this as a part of like building your uh, building your project. So you have to be them on like trying to do surveys and stuff like that. Um, uh -huh, let's see. How to create, is there a nonprofit project also? Uh, so yeah, so we, we so yeah, we, for, is, so the question is like, is there any nonprofit project idea also acceptable or not? So you're definitely allowed to build nonprofit projects. We don't like, so, so in our hackathon, like business profitability will not be like the main consideration. This is like more of a focus on like how you can like, you know, build impactful projects and less about like, like be, this being a business plan competition or like a startup competition. So this is like more of a focus on building those cool projects and business planning and business modeling and stuff like that is not like a, a part of like this hackathon. Um, is API and libraries that complement the project okay? Yes, they're okay. Um, as far as project allowed to be submitted, no, we don't allow any past project submission. We're going to disclose if you if you resubmit a project that you have like submitted in the past, this violates our rule, and we're just like going to disqualify it, disqualify you directly. Um, it's okay. We just mock up the app on Balsamic without actually building it. Yeah, so we're allowed to use Balsamic to wire. You're allowed to use Balsamic to wireframe. That is like one of the uh, one of like the ways that you can use wireframing as well. Um, so other than that, for projects, we have to focus on Indonesia or worldwide problems. Um, we definitely see, we definitely think that like some of the problems that in Indonesia is also pervasive in other parts of the world. But yeah, we're basically going to allow you to like, you know, um, build projects like from any parts of the world. Uh, if it's not happening in Indonesia, we, we totally think it's fine. But like, um, we identify like health, small business and education as like, you know, a, a problem that is like very common in Indonesia. So if you're building it, from like um, outside of like um, outside of like you know like an idea from like outside from from Indonesia, it's totally fine. You can do that. Uh, can we use high level tools and language like Binot, Ruby, and Crystal? Yes, you can do that. We're gonna we don't have any limitations like what kind of prog like programming languages or library that you can use. Uh, so when we will deliver, since the present is occupied by product demo, we're not gonna ask you to deliver on the business part. So this is a fully like you know the business part is not a consideration for like our hackathon. So if you're gonna like if you, so if your like your project idea is like interesting or technologically complex, um, our investors like our like you know like our venture capitalists will reach out to you directly to like help you like maybe launch this like as a, as a startup and etc. But like during the hackathon, the focus is on the technology and also like our judges will also be like looking at the technology and basically the problem and solution fit instead of like you know business idea or business plans etc. So you don't need to make any business plans. Um, uh, how about submission format? Um, submission format, you can find this in like, um, so you, so when you go to DevCos, um, you're gonna have like a, you're gonna have like a form that you need to fill out. And then you basically just like fill out the information based on the form. We'll also be like uh, sending you more instruction about this, like the submission on our hacker handbook, because like it's not gonna fit in like, um, in like this like one hour uh, video call. Can we use cloud resources than local stack? Yes, you can. Um, are we allowed to create 3D models before the hackathon? No, you're not allowed to create 3D models before the hackathon, unfortunately. Um, I have a question that which type of project we have to submit? Is it an Android app or anything? You can build anything that you want. You, if you want to build a mobile app, you can do that. If you want to build a web app, that is okay. If you want to build like, you know, a machine learning model, that is fine. If you want to build like, you know, um, you, yeah, you can basically build anything. We'll accept any kind of like, technology based or slash focused projects. Um, will we receive certificate with rank on it? You will, guys will receive participation certificate if you submit a project, but we'll, it will not have your rank on it uh, unless you're a winner. If you're a winner, then you will have like a certificate with the winner information. Can it be open source? Yes, it can be open source. Um, uh, is there any particular tax attack for the hackathon? No, there's no particular tax for the hackathon. You can use any, uh, any kind of like technology uh, that you want. Uh, uh, can we submit one project with two platforms? No, you're not allowed to do this. Most of the times that like you you won't be you won't have any enough time uh, to submit this kind of like um, this kind of like uh, this kind of like a code like um, this kind of like two two platform thing as well. It, it's better to like spend more time like you know building this like one project. Um, 
Um, I see. Let's like see. Okay, there's like a lot of like repeating um, questions. Uh, I am a beginner and I only know web development, so will I be able to submit without being in a team? Yes. Um, who sent the certificate? Uh, it will be like our organizing team. Um, we can we create a character redesign before the hackathon? No, you're not allowed to like. You, you're basically not allowed to make any designs beyond wireframes. Um, I saw PC as judges, so we still cannot make business model in that post. So for like the open water accelerator, if you want to like, if you want to apply for open water accelerator, you're going to have like a separate application. It's like you submit your business idea, like business plans or ideas. But yeah, like I think the general, like as I mentioned before, we will not be asking you to submit business models in that post. This is not the main focus. But you're feel, you're, if you want to do that, feel free to do that. But this is not a required question. Uh, this is also not a part of like the judging, uh, the judging as well. So if you're if you if you're if you're looking to like articulate those of stuff, you can do that through DevPos, not the product demo video. You can do that in like DevPos text. But this is again not a part of the judging uh, the judging criteria. Um, how do we get access to ball stopping domain and etc? As I mentioned before, this will be distributed a few days before the hackathon. Scott, we have a question. Do you have any ideas has to fall in one of the three proposed category? Can an idea cover more than one category? What is the criteria of assigning a category to the idea? So um, you're allowed to, you're basically allowed to like submit projects to multiple category, but you can only win in one of them. So like if, for instance, if you're, if your project is like, you know, a part of the like education track and health track, you can do that. But um, if you win, then like you can only win in like one of them. So if you win with like, you know, if judges like chooses you for your, um, just your project to win like two different, like, you know, two different like tracks. Yeah, uh, you will be only be you will only be winning in one of them. So like you, so you can submit like your projects to like multiple tracks. We're not gonna like, but we you can only win like one of the tracks. What is the grand prize of this hackathon? Um, so we don't have like really a concept of a grand prize, but we have like concept like you know the like prizes in general. So um, you can find the list of our prizes on our website. Um, other than that, we also have like a lot of like fun, like a partnership with like, you know, with accelerator programs and investors. So you guys, you guys can potentially pitch to investors and also like get a slot in like an accelerator program. Um, other than that, we also have like a first text office hours with like for Corey Levy. So we, he's going to set you up with like a, like an office hour call, like one-on-one -on -one call with like a Silicon Valley entrepreneur investors. Like, and then like, so this is like a very interesting price because like the previous Office hours with like first text includes like you know people like Javed Karim who's the, the co-founder of YouTube, and then we also like have Steve Hoffman and like etc. So definitely like definitely uh, definitely a very interesting price. Can I make something outside of the category? Yes, but you will not be eligible for the track prizes. Um, uh, yeah, we have our systems to like uh, track cheaters, so so you guys do not need to worry about that. Um, what type of files that we need to we must submit on that web? So we're gonna ask you to submit a product demo video. We're also gonna ask you to submit your code. Um, you can submit your code to like you know Drive, or you can submit that through GitHub, GitLab, or whatever. Just like we need to like get the code like for our judging process. Um, okay. Um, How could you judge a real world implementation? Uh, one of the judging criteria from just a demo. So beyond the demo, we also ask you to like fill in like the dev post, like the dev post uh, text, like text submission. So this this is the, the space where you like you know we'll be explaining all of that stuff. So so yeah, the product is the product demo video is intended to like demonstrate your product, and then like all of their information needs to go in the dev post description. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I covered most of the questions. Did I miss anyone's questions? Um, any last minute questions you guys want to have? Uh, let's see. Uh, how do we team up uh, in that post? So um, when the hackathon starts, you can create a, like a project and then 
when you create a project, you will be invite you will be able to like invite your teammates to that project. We will have a guide for this as well in the hacker handbook. GitHub GitHub code has to be public. Um, so if you don't want to like if you don't want to like have your Git code to be public, you can just like um, send them through like Google Drive. Um, you can send them through Google Drive and then like send the link to us and then we'll send 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 the link to us and then we can just like you know judge from that like um, at Google Drive. Uh, when is the main event? You can find it in Gruda Hacks. Uh, you can find it in grudahacks.com stuff schedule. Uh, responsibilities of mentors. We will be sending the guide for mentors in this weekend. Um, so yeah, but like, yeah, as I mentioned before, if you uh, like attend the workshop, like the mentors will be like assisting the participants in, in technical or non-technical, depending on like what kind of mentors they are. Um, how will mentors help in tech support? Um, yeah, so basically mentors will be able to like help you if like have any questions in regards to like, you know, if you have a bug or a problem you're facing, you can ask the mentor for like, you know, see your code and like suggest, suggest solutions and help you find, find a problem in your code. Um, if people use no code, then how to submit it in GitHub. So if you're using no code, we will ask you to submit the, like the, the files through Google drive. Um, um, but yeah, so like, like, uh, if it's like no code platform, like bubble, we will ask you for the project link. Um, but yeah, so basically we will basically accept like proof of like, you know, of like this project having been built like through like, GitHub, Google drive, depending on like what platform makes sense more, makes more sense to your project type. Uh, so we're not, so this hackathon will be fully virtual. So like, uh, so, so like, as if you guys haven't like know that already, this is going to be full, a fully virtual hackathon. Um, so we, do we submit in DevPost or export to GitHub? You're going to need to submit a project to DevPost and then you want to link your GitHub repository inside the DevPost. Uh, we have like a specific form for that, like specific, like, you know, form field in DevPost for that. So you want to put your GitHub code project there. Okay, any other questions? Submission per team or per person or on an or per person on team. So the submission is done per team. So when you create a DAF pro, uh, when you create a DAF post project, you will be able to invite your teammates into the project and then you submit as a whole team. Um, where are the mentors? We will be onboarding the mentors um, really, real, uh, real soon. What is the minimum level of project complexity and functionality? How complex must it be? Um, so there, we don't have a minimum level of project complexity. Um, like this, like definitely up to you. Um, so we don't have a requirement of, like project complexity. <laughs> what, if, what if there's a business guy who uses Hackathon to build their project by getting free hackers and through the hacks? Um, well, we don't really have any mechanism to stop this. I think this is like also part of like part of the idea of the Hackathon. We see this as a way to encourage collaboration. Um, so, uh, so like we basically see Gruda Hacks as a platform like engage co collaboration. So like you know working together, build, building a project, building a startup is like what we want to see happen in Gruda Hacks. So we don't see things like as like you know people stealing projects or etc. We see this as a collaborations and and etc. Um, so yeah. Um, can you prepare a project background when Hackathon starts? I'm not really quite sure what the question here but yeah so if you have the hackathon already started you can do whatever you want regarding project you don't need to worry does the mvp has to be a live app website product which can be interacted with um no we don't ask we don't ask people to submit a live website but this is like one of the great things that you can do as well to like you know appeal to the judges um but yeah so you definitely don't have to submit a live project we will be asked you to like a product demo video that is our requirement Can I use Bubble? Yes, you can use Bubble. And then as a matter of fact, we have like a sp special price for people who use Bubble. If it's ML training takes time, right? Then what would be a way to judge ML projects? Um, so, so for like, um, for like the, for ML, for ML, training needs to be done within 36 hours as well. 
if you need like uh, if you need to train your model fast then we recommend using like something like aws like um like aws like cloud or something or like google cloud or like microsoft azure to like help you train the project more quickly um but yeah i think like as i mentioned before like you're not allowed to like train the model in, in advance and stuff like that um so like um so i think we're running out of time so we're gonna answer some few last questions um what are we gonna build in the front and some part of back end um I'm not quite sure what this idea, like this question means, but feel free to like, ask me later what like clarified question. Can we use Angular? Yes, you can use Angular or any other like open source library or like um, packages or et cetera. Um, what if you use pre-trained model? If like, if it's a publicly available pre-trained model, that is totally fine. So if, for instance, again, you use like Google Cloud, AutoML and stuff like that, that is totally fine. Um, but it needs to be publicly accessible. So like, um, so if it's not publicly acceptable, we don't accept free trained model. Can we create plan and create a checklist of our app functionality before the hackathon? Um, this is fine. Uh, can we use Unity? Yes, you can use Unity. Um, this is totally fine. Um, Can mentor help on debugging? Yes, that is like the purpose of like one of the purpose of a mentor. Can we use toolkits? Um, you can use anything that you want. Um, uh, can we use Unity for AR? Yes, you can use you can use anything that you want. Like again, like um, so like like a lot of people ask asking whether I can use this. Very good and use that. You're allowed to use anything that you want. We're not going to limit you from using anything. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, uh, there's a that's a very good point there, Marlon. Uh, any support provided to grow our idea for the event? So we're gonna have like venture capitalists and accelerators um, for like the uh, for like a, as a part of our judging panel, and they will be also identifying you know interesting projects from a technical standpoint, and then like we're gonna like provide them with you know like you know uh, they will either like uh, if you're interested in your project, they will be able to like you know invite you to your pitching session. Um, they will also be able to like you know give you a slot in your accelerator. And last but not least, they're also my, if you're selected by Corey, you'll also be able to like uh, attend like a first tax first tax uh, office hour with like top Silicon Valley investors and entrepreneurs that might be able to give you some idea, like some advice on like how to grow your ideas to the next level. Um, yeah, so I think that's really it. Uh, we have passed like around seven minutes. Um, if, is there any other last minutes questions? Um, 